Right, good morning and welcome back to another vlog with Alive. Uh, today we've got a G4 110 uh, TD5 in and she's a bit poorly, so let's have a look at what's going on. So, currently uh, it's looking like a cracked cylinder head. So the diesel has uh, gone into the sump and this one has uh, started to just started to run away with itself. The, uh, the owner managed to stall the vehicle very quickly and has assured us that it still runs nicely. So what are we doing? Well, Will and I are uh, just disassembling the, the top end here. We've already found a crack in the cylinder head, so let's take a look at that. So this isn't an easy one to see, but we've got a crack just there. It goes right down into the bowl. So from at the bottom here, right up and across and hopefully we can show that on the camera and that's allowing fuel to spill out and uh, mix with the engine oil and then it ends up in the sump so and eventually what happens is the sump fills up with diesel that much that uh, it blows past the rings and it combusts and uh, in some worst case scenario, you'll, you will lose an engine. And if you've ever seen that happen, maybe we can put a little clip of it happening in. It makes a mess. It makes a heck of a mess. So luckily uh, that's not happened with this one. Right, so yeah, an AMC cylinder head is going to be the thing that's curing this uh, in injector seals as well. Let's have a look at the injector seal because something very interesting has happened with this, with the seal on number one. So again, using my uh, magic wobbly pointer, the, uh, the, the copper washer, the sealing washer has completely melted away around the base of the tip on this one. So we will need to revisit whether these injectors are worth using again, of course. Just having a look at these old injector seals, ignore those ones, those are not genuine ones, we're fitting genuine set of seals in it of course, these just come with the packaging uh, with some of the kit that you get when you purchase an AMC head, so yeah these O-rings just show one, you can see what's gone on there, completely blown the seal out on all five. So we're just looking at that crack in the head there, in the head in the uh, injector port. Quite an obvious one. So right, yeah. Some of you might be wondering, might have heard the AMC cylinder head have thicker uh, buckets. So it's this area here, this wall, which is thicker on the AMC. As you can see, quite a bit thinner. Each one around there way thicker so it's this wall area that that cracks and it's you can just feel it you can feel it so i'm guessing these are probably i'm going to guess eight mil and the ones on here maybe i don't know four maybe five but yeah significantly thicker so just been having a look and uh, as well after lifting the head off Will's given this thing a clean up. One thing you can find if injector problems obviously the pistons can melt out as well. Um, these have been absolutely fine, bowls are in nice, uh, nice condition. So no concerns there. So, I've been off on another job whilst Will has carried on on this one. 
cylinder head back on all time, up, fresh gasket, etc. We are waiting on a exhaust manifold to come back from uh, engineering because it wasn't straight and we want it to seal. So we're just waiting on that before we can finish up, assemble up, fit the manifold, fit the turbo and, uh, and then run the engine and bleed everything up. So nearly there with this one. So yeah, we'll finish this one up just, just about. I think it's uh, obviously we need a bleed up and, uh, and a road test and then a sign off. I actually had a, uh, a suspension job in this morning as well. Which was this one ten. A suspension job in and a stage one remap as well. So customers just come back from the road test. And uh, yeah, I was quite happy with that one. 